Hey guys, uh, book review for you today. This time it's Founders by James Wesley Rawls. And this book is basically a continuation or a parallel to Patriots and Survivors by the same author. Now I've done reviews on these other books, uh, good books. They get you in the mindset of preparation for societal collapse. Basically the first book, Patriots, uh, takes you through a scenario in which society collapses and people leave the city and go to a retreat they have out west and the story centers around several groups of people uh, they're making their way out to the retreat was part of it a lot of it had to do in and around the retreat after collapse and fighting the the new powers that be uh, that are trying to govern or impose their will on society. So that's Patriots. Survivors was more of the same, uh, kind of centering on one guy in particular um, in the beginning of the story. Actually, it doesn't center around one guy in particular. That's the thing about his books. There's several storylines going on at the same time, so kind of bounces around a little bit. This book bounced around more, I think, than maybe the others did. Uh, it was a little bit difficult to keep track of the characters um, in Survivors, but, you know, I, I think I'll reread these books because <laughs> they were very interesting despite that, and I think once I've gone through it, I think I'm going to be familiar with more of the characters and, and make it through a lot better. This would make a good uh, miniseries uh, or a uh, television, made-for-television movie or even a movie. This, this storyline is pretty good. Um... Again, bounced around a little bit in this book, Survivors, but was still a very good read. And now, my review for today is uh, Founders. Basically, what he's done here is he's taken the same storyline with some of the other characters and filled out a lot more uh, of the character development and the storyline for several of the characters that were in the other books. And there may be some characters in this one that weren't in the other two books not positive about that, because like I say, there's a lot of characters to keep track of. Uh, now that I've read all three, I think I'll go back and read through all three of them again, maybe. But definitely some good information in here, some good, um, kind of a good way to get your mind thinking about preparedness and survival. And uh, obviously this is one type of future for the U.S., not to say that this is going to happen, that there's going to be a collapse of the government, and a, uh, an ensuing societal collapse, but, you know, that could happen. And a lot of the information, some of the, the scenarios that are presented would be useful for that, um, to that end. Plus, it's uh, entertaining uh, read as well. At any rate, uh, not too much to say without spoiling the book, um, but a continuation of the other two, a good read. This one was easier to keep track of. Uh, he also puts in the front here uh, the names and descriptions of all the characters and there's probably, I don't know, 20 or twenty or 30 characters listed in the front here. Um, if you've read the other two books, you're familiar with some of the characters already. Uh, there may be a few new ones in here as well. Um, but it's definitely... If you were interested in the first two books, you'll like this book because it gives more of the storyline to some of the other events that are going on. Kind of like, meanwhile, back at the ranch type of thing, where you've got a time period uh, and you've got a lot of things going on during that time period. And each of the books kind of covers a little bit of each of those little slices of time. Um, or shall I say... It all happens during the same time, but what he does is he tells you what's going on in different people's lives at that time or different geographical locations. So, uh, good book. Uh, again, it is Founders by James Wesley Rawls, and the first two books are Patriots and Survivors. I'd recommend these books to any preppers. Anyone that's interested in this type of thing will enjoy these books, I believe. Uh, the only drawback is that it's a little bit difficult with all the characters, but I think it's still well worth the read. Anyway, I'd enjoy your uh, comments and thoughts on this topic, and we'll talk to you next time. Thanks.